All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. This is our co-main event of the evening, an international contest. We do it in the flyweight division, and this one is brought to you with thanks to Astute Annerley. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. Tip the scales, 56.70 kilos. From Durban, South Africa, trained out of the Australian top team, Jim brings to the cage a record. 13 fights, 9 wins, and just the 4 losses. This is Dan Shield Moodley. And standing across uh, in the red corner. Tip the scales, 57.05 kilos. From Brisbane, the River City is trained out of the bros jiu-jitsu gym. His professional record, a perfect one. Six fights, six wins, yet to taste defeat. Make some noise at Brisbane. Here he is to shine again. This is Stuart! Referee, third man in the middle. Stewie Nickel getting the huge crowd pop. In our co-main event, brought to you by Astute Annerly, recommended and used by Beatdown Promotion staff for all things finance, loans and wealth management. For all things finance, give Simon a call at 0405-751-173. Nickel in the red corner, Moodley in the blue. Switching stance, light on his feet is Moodley. He's already given Nickel a bit of a different look, isn't he? Stewie throwing two strikes as soon as Moodley was in range. Looking very calm as Moodley, putting them together. An exchange for both boys there. I like that. Take it away. Why hang out there when you have the opportunity to take the center? Moodley going to work, chopping the legs. Yeah, a lot of low kicks from both boys. Look for Stewie to, to target the calf. I've been on the receiving end of that a lot in this fight camp, so I'm expecting a few kicks to the calf. Moodley providing a bit of a hard target for that calf. You can see him switching stances. You can see him light on his toes. A very, very deep shot for Stewie Nickel. And yet another big crowd pop as he does so. Breaking Dan Shill Moodley down. He's got that hook in, loses it only momentarily, and he manages to just float in the dominant position. You can see him pulling that arm of Moodley across, almost like a one-arm straight jacket. Exchanges it. And Moodley in full-blown defensive mode. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Stewie's starting. He looks like he's trying to take out that, that posting hand and trap that arm. And, uh, yeah, with Stuart Nickel on your back, that is just like the last place you want him. Oh, absolutely. He chooses to go for the choke while Moodley seems to be distracted trying to get up. And he dodges a proverbial bullet. Moodley, very composed. Doing everything he needs to do to keep the arms away from the throat and not be broken down at the same time. You can see him alternating from submission defense to posting out his hands. And Stewie Nickel just making him earn everything. Yeah, absolutely. Stewie's doing it. Both boys are doing a good job. Moodley's doing a good job of not getting finished with that rear naked choke, but every time you defend it, you open yourself up just to get hit. And he's flattened out. That is back mount for Stewie. If he can get his hands out, the worst possible position to be in in MMA. That hand is free, and you see him begin to strike immediately. Daniel Moodley knows it, tries to back back up and get to a position where it can build height. Fighting yet again for a choke. Stewie's just so busy that Daniel Moodley can't even really think about standing up. Yeah, absolutely. Every time he finishes defending the choke, he, he just runs into the into the punches. It's like combinations, like fighting on the feet. You get done with one, there's another. He defends this, I'll throw that. 
Stewie with just those deep hooks in. The amount of control that he's able to have, he can just strike from this position as we can see the blood in the mouth of Dan Shul Moodley just hoping for reprieve. Yeah, Moodley, I think he really needs to make something happen here, otherwise he can't spend the whole round here, otherwise Absolutely he's going to be exhausted for the rest of his bout. If you're Stewie, you're laughing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. A little bit better position for Dan Shul Moodley. But still, most definitely a dominant position for Stewie. At least he's not eating those strikes. Yeah, and Stewie, for a moment, looked like he was trying to convert to that body triangle. He's laughing because <laughs> he's trying to ankle lock yeah, him. Yeah, he's trying to ankle lock him, and Stewie was like, no, 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 just no. <laughs> no, no Daniel Moodley rolls over, tries to turtle, but ends up getting flattened out. Horrible position! Moodley trying to build back up, and all he could do was kick his legs. The thunderous punches! of Stewie Nichols are matched by the thunderous applause of the crowd. Daniel Moodley could not do anything about it. We could see him trying to build back up, but he was a broken man in a broken position, just so difficult with the jiu-jitsu black belt and the ace on the ground on top of you. Stewie Nickel in our next-gen constructions replay going to work from the double into the back take, it was never in doubt. Yeah, that was such a clean entry by Stewie. He got in so deep on that takedown that it's just it, impossible for, for Moodley to defend at that point. And we just see Stewie doing what Stewie does. Going to work, referee telling him to work. And the final chapter of this bout turns out to be a novella. It finished in the first round with yet another stoppage for Stewie Nickel. And we hand it over to James O'Shea in the cage for the official call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to make this one official. Put your hands together, you know, for both of our fighters here of our co-man event of the evening. And also a big thank you to Astute Annerley for sponsoring this one. Ladies and gentlemen, four minutes 24 of round number one. Your winner by TKO and remains undefeated. Another stoppage victory. It goes to the red corner. Stewart!